Hi, Hook Kids and Jam friends. Last week, we began learning about the transfiguration of Jesus. Jesus went up the mountain with Peter, James, and John. There he was transfigured before them. His clothes became dazzling white, whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. And there appeared before them Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. This wasn't a dream. This was real. Jesus' face and clothes began to shine. Staring at him would have hurt your eyes. That's how bright he was. He was showing his glory, the power and greatness that only God has. Moses and Elijah, two men who had served God hundreds and hundreds of years earlier, appeared and spoke with Jesus. You can read about Moses and Elijah in the Old Testament. These men um, were some of the most famous people in the whole Bible. What do you think they were talking about? The Bible doesn't really say, but perhaps they were talking about Jesus' plan to suffer and die. Even way back when Moses and Elijah had been alive, this had already been part of God's plan to save people from sin. The disciples were amazed at um, when they saw what was happening. They had heard amazing stories about Moses and Elijah, but now these two Old Testament heroes from long ago were right in front of them talking with Jesus. When Peter saw what was happening, he didn't want it to stop. He thought of a plan to make this moment last and started to explain his plan to Jesus. But something awesome interrupted him. Then a cloud appeared and covered them, and a voice came from the cloud. This is my son whom I love. Listen to him. God the Father told the disciples who Jesus was, the Son of God. He wanted them to listen to Jesus and obey him. The disciples didn't understand why Jesus had to suffer and die, but they needed to learn to listen to God and obey him. I kind of wish whenever my students aren't listening and or they're being distracted, God would just appear and tell my class, this is my daughter whom I love, listen to her, <laughs> right? That's such an amazing support, like God is on your side and telling other people to listen to you. But you know, that's, it only happened because it was Jesus. The disciples thought they knew exactly what Jesus should do. They wanted him to follow their plans to make their nation great and powerful. But God the Father spoke to these disciples out loud to remind them to listen to Jesus and do what he said. Remember, Jesus is God, listen to him. The disciples had never seen anything like this. They felt so little and helpless compared to the God of power and glory that they all fell down to their knees um, and dropped their faces. Uh, Jesus had let them see the power and glory of God. So they were terrified. But Jesus, ever so gentle, touched them and told them to get up. They looked up and saw that they were alone with Jesus again. Peter, James, and John never forgot what happened that day. Jesus showed them the power and glory of God. Not long after that, Jesus died and rose again, just like he said he would. After this happened, God's plan made more sense to the disciples. They finally understood that Jesus, the God of power and glory, had come to earth to make the way for people to be saved from sin.